This is TV International. Uh, I'm Fadi Borspuya. I'm Patti de Bonitas. Uh, earlier, this is the third part of our program tonight. Earlier, we were speaking to Baram Surush on the Labour Solidarity and the Workers uh, International uh, May Day celebration and preparation for that earlier in the program. This part of the program, we'll be talking about Jamal Sabri. Uh, as our viewers may know, he is uh, uh, currently in detention in Japan. He's uh, one of the main opponents and, uh, in, of the Islamic regime of Iran in Japan who has been detained by the immigration authorities in, in, in Japan. Um, we've been running a campaign for the last few months and we've kept our viewers informed of this situation. What's latest, uh, uh, Patty? Uh, you are one of, one of the main organizers mm -hmm. of the international campaign to free Jamal. What's the latest? The latest is that um, we had actually Fashat Husseini in Japan on a mission um, on behalf of Jamal to, to free him, basically, to get him refugee status. Uh, Fashad is back now, and he has seen, while he was there, um, actually uh, quite a few interesting and important people. He has uh, linked up with a lot of unions, because, as you might know, Jamal was very active um, as a workers' rights um, advocate for people in Iran, but also for people in Japan. So he has linked, he has a lot of connections with the unions there. The unions have certified to his, um, actually to his activities, you know, they, they say he's, he's known as an ambassador for the people um, in Iran. And what we're seeing here are pictures, this is Farshad at the union meeting, and just now uh, these were the Amnesty International people of Japan that he met, the general director and the secretary for the refugees. Amnesty has been visiting Jamal in prison, actually. Um, and as I said, this is the uh, a meeting with, uh, with the union um, in, the, in the first week that um, Farshad was there. The union have said they want, they're planning an international day of solidarity for Jamal on the 9th of May. This is the uh, Mrs. Watanabe, the solicitor of Jamal. Uh, she's very good. She, uh, she's linking up to many organizations, um, trying to gather um, evidence of Jamal's activities, of support. Any, any organization can write in saying that they fear for Jamal's uh, safety if he were to be returned to Iran. This is actually the latest picture of Jamal, he is there in the uh, detention center when Farshad went to see him. Farshad took this uh, photo secretly because uh, it's forbidden to take pictures. And that's why you also have the flash. It's be he sits behind a glass screen. He's in the detention center in Tokyo and he sits uh, behind that glass screen, unfortunately. Um, we also saw pictures earlier of um, uh, Fashad also saw very interestingly, he saw the leader of the Social Democratic Party in Japan, Mrs. Uh, Fukushima. She's also the leader of the Social Democratic Party and he's a, uh, she's a um, Minister of State. He saw her, he saw another MP for the, from the Social Democratic Party. He, saw, he went to see the UNHCR representative in Japan. And the UNHCR said they would, they cannot at the moment interfere um, with, uh, within Japan's uh, government business because Japan has accepted the asylum application of Jamal. So he's in, Jamal is in Japan's government yeah. hand. They can only advise at the moment the Japanese government of what to do. So this is unfortunate, but at the same time very good that they actually want to try to advise Japanese government on what to do because UNHCR representative said it's because of the special uh, case that Jamal uh, represents. Okay. Well, I mean, thanks to the campaign that you and uh, uh, colleagues in the, um, uh, in the international campaign to free Jamal Sabri have, uh, have led, um, clearly his case is, uh, he's been taken notice of by the Japanese government, United Nations representative, Amnesty International, Trade Unions, Minister of the State in Japan. And one thing I think this campaign is exposed is the brutal, I think, uh, policy of immigration in, in, in Japan. Uh, and I think that, that, that is very important because this camp campaign, first of all, is going to continue till Jamal mm -hmm. is, um, uh, uh, is released uh, and, and given and recognized as a uh, refugee and political refugee in Japan. Um, but also, uh, this, is, this is exposed quite a sort of crucial aspect of the uh, policy of uh, uh, how Japan treats 
uh, migrants in, in our country. Yes, there have been quite a few issues and that is also why, for example, we had the UN uh, Special Rapporteur on Human Rights of Migrant, Jorge Bustamante, he recently went to Japan on a, on a mission actually to find out what is going on because there have been many issues. There are um, hunger strikes in detention centers. Um, they, they were going on and I think for Bustamante's visit, I think the immigration authorities had briefly sort of been a bit more lenient, have, be, have leaned a bit more towards the, um, the asylum seekers there probably because of the visit of the UN rapporteur. So we have all these issues. There was an in Jamal's detention center, there were two attempted suicides in the first couple of weeks just before he, he came there. One was uh, successful so the person died and the other one could uh, be okay. saved. Um, and may I also add that we that um, Japan has recently returned a Ghanaian citizen who had applied for asylum in Japan. He, they returned him to Ghana, and the uh, Ghanaian government killed this asylum yeah. seeker. So and a lot of that sort of asylum seeker is in the hand of the Japanese yeah. government. Very yeah. briefly, thirty seconds. What next, Patty? Um, we're going on, as I said, uh, we're going on with the campaign until Jamal gets his um, gets out of detention and his refugee rights in Japan or another safe country. We're working on this. 9th of May, the unions in Japan have started making an international day for Jamal and we are from the Free Jamal campaign. We are working on this as well. Excellent. Thank you very much, Patty. That was uh, just briefing on the Jamal, Free Jamal campaign. Uh, I'm Faibos Puya um, and I'm Patti de Bonitas. This is International TV. We have a weekly program. Please uh, visit our um, website on uh, YouTube and also watch International TV, which is broadcast on Nilesat um, uh, 24 hours a day. Uh, from both of us, good night until next week.